Hey, Pastor Keith, congratulations, sir, on your uh, book release, Rendezvous with Yourself. It's been a phenomenal reading. I'm not all the way done with it yet, but thus far it has been a major impact. It's definitely a book for the masses, so it needs to be out around the world and for all. And again, congratulations. Glad to be in ministry with you. Love you, sir. So chapter four really stood out to me and chapter four was found in love. I knew when I came into Christ, I was really wanting to experience true love. And the way that chapter is just outlined that it is very clear that you cannot have a fulfillment life, fulfillment relationships, fulfillment in God if you don't understand the love of Christ. And the love of Christ is unlike any experience that I've experienced before because there's a God pay love. Mm -hmm. And so I really know how to operate in agape love. I know Pastor Keith has talked many times on this, but he really makes it very plain and clear in the book. So grab your copy. Hey there, Pastor Keith. I just wanted to get on here and say congratulations on the book. Uh, great work. I learned everything that I need to. Like when you're talking about uh, finding you in the midst of them, a God to becoming and it's literally just that, a guide to becoming one with Christ, um, recognizing who you are, kind of like a, your timeline, where you came from, all your triggers and all of that trash that was holding you back, putting it out there, the cards on the table, recognizing who's got your eyes, who's got your ears, who's got your heart, and and now, and then transitioning on to take steps to understand Christ and what this walk is truly about and the adjustments that needs to be made in order for you to make sure that you stake your claim in the kingdom. That's what I got from the book. So great work. Love you guys. Take care. <laughs> I am still reading Pastor Keith's book and let me tell you, it's everything you need. He is letting you know your identity, who you are and how you can operate in the body of Christ. And one thing I'm learning right now is I got to understand and be honest where I'm at right now to grow where I need to be. You guys really need to get that book. Hello, my name is Amos Brown Jr. I live in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I want to provide a quick uh, review of the book a rendezvous with yourself, finding you in the midst of them, a guide to becoming by Pastor Keith Anthony Bradley. Um, first, I'd like to say the book has been a, uh, a real blessing to me and my family. Um, I bought a book for uh, my wife and two extras for two of my friends who I've already uh, given to who live out, out of state. Um, the book was very well put together. Uh, the first few chapters were pretty short, um, being that uh, I don't really like reading the books as often as I would like. Um, the short chapters actually ruled me in. I was ready to keep reading. And then I believe it was in the fourth or the fifth chapter. It was a, a much longer chapter, but I was already there. So I was like, just keep going. Um, additionally, the uh, the large font um, was also uh, um, something that I liked. Um, I've got pretty good vision, so at first I didn't know why, but then when I started reading, start thinking about it. You know, sometimes when I do read books with a small font, it kind of intimidates me a little bit, thinking I'm going to be on one page for a very long time, but with a large font, uh, this gave me some some confidence that I needed to I can get through uh, this page pretty quickly and it kind of goes along with the uh, just overall the the way the book is put together um, I think the one chapter that really uh, uh, was highlighted to me was chapter 8 uh, really blessed me was chapter 8 uh, I won't give any spoilers for, for anyone who's watching this who didn't uh, read the entire book yet or get to that chapter but uh, you know really it got me thinking about who has my ears, 
who has my eyes, who has my heart, and am I really updating my mind? So is it God that really has my attention on things I'm, I'm seeing or I'm hearing, or is it the, you know, or is it the enemy? Um, also, am I utilizing the Holy Spirit to really update um, and renew my mind, uh, or am I just out here just not understanding why things are happening, why I may be reacting to certain things? Um, but it all, it all comes down to, um, you know, I'm an IT specialist, uh, you know, by trade. So all the input that I'm getting via my eyes, my ears, um, how I'm letting it penetrate my heart and affecting my mind, um, it really can uh, answer a lot of questions um, just off that one chapter alone. Um, so overall, the book has been great. I just reading, reading through the chapters. Some of these chapters can be a book of its own. Um, so, uh, from Indiana, um, just want to uh, say congratulations to Pastor uh, Keith Bradley and Pastor uh, Melanie Bradley uh, for releasing this book. I'm definitely uh, looking forward to the next one. Um, take care. Stay blessed. Pastor Keith's book has impacted me um, in many ways, but one thing that comes to mind when you ask that question is identity. Um, he talked about um, when he was younger, he used to um, pretend to be other people by creating someone else's laugh in him, being um, creating um, someone own someone else's identity. He used to play off of that, and it's really taught me to just be myself in any situation or circumstance. Um, I'm very grateful for his book. It has taught me so much, um, and I'm ready to go to another level in who I am in Christ. Pastor Keith, um, I really do appreciate you uh, writing this book. Um, it has been so far, I haven't read it all, but it's been so far an inspiration. Um, it really speaks to who we should be in God. And um, the title, A Rendezvous with Yourself. So when I first read that, I was thinking, with myself? What does that mean? And then what popped into my head was, I get to realize, I get to have, get an understanding, I get to know me, the real me in God. And not me with them, me with they, me with everybody else, but me in God and God in me. And so a couple of things that stood out in the book real quick, um, I just wanted to point out the first chapter you started out with, I highlighted, simply put, We've forgotten us, but working so hard to be them. And so to me, you know, as we grow up in this world of sin, when we're born, we're conformed to this world. But God says to be transformed with the renewing of our mind in him. So to make us a new creature in him who he actually really created. Um, and so I appreciate you putting that in there um, because that made me think about that. But I do appreciate um, as well all of the things that you have always afforded us. I appreciate you. I appreciate the conversations. I um, really, really do appreciate you pouring out your heart um, and whatever from whatever God has put in it to provide to us. Because I know it's not just you. Um, it's God using your vessel. And so this book is just another extension of what you already give us um, when you do your sermons, when you teach the classes. Um, I do appreciate you providing what we need as you being our shepherd and us your sheep. Um, I thank God for you. I appreciate you. Congratulations on the book, um, A Rendezvous with Yourself, Pastor Keith. I'm about 75% of the way uh, through uh, reading it. I am really having a rendezvous with myself. Like it's, I'm doing so much soul searching, like I'm getting to know the inner me and learning how to navigate, um, to, you know, past hurts and traumas through the book. So I definitely can appreciate your wisdom and knowledge 
um, and again, the insight that you are providing with your words in this book. Congratulations again, and God bless. Hi, good evening, praise God. I just wanted to take a moment uh, to just share with you some of the thoughts that I have about Pastor Keith's new book, Rendezvous With Yourself. Um, I'm so thankful that uh, Pastor Keith decided to write the book. Um, in the book, I believe Pastor Keith shares his heart, uh, being open about challenges he faced and lessons that he's learned over the years. Uh, he kind of examines many different areas um, of our lives and things that we go through that have the potential to hinder our walk uh, as believers. Um, uh, from fear of failure to uh, operating with the spirit of manipulation to um, even um, our search for significance are not really um, being comfortable with who we are. Uh, he just covers it all and I appreciate his straightforwardness um, and his approach to helping us to recognize things that we can avoid, some of the pitfalls, uh, some of the devices of the enemy, and then our own disordered thinking, you know, some of the ways that we uh, look at things because we've operated and lived in the world for so long. But I believe that if we really, really um, dive into what this book is saying, and if we really um, tap into the message of this book, then I believe that we can break free uh, from some old patterns of behavior and thinking and truly embrace uh, what it is that God has for us. I believe that Pastor Keith wants us to understand that we can live a righteous and holy life uh, and a sin-free life if we're willing to change. So being able to take that look in the mirror to um, do a, a self-examination, to be open and honest about where we truly are is the first step to change. I also just wanted um, to mention and just thank Pastor Keith for his wisdom and just thank him for his overall desire to help people to grow and to be able to operate in the full manifestation of God, what God desires for us. So I just know that if we truly uh, embrace uh, his book, then we'll have an opportunity to operate in the purpose uh, in which God has designed. So I just thank you for this opportunity to share. I would just encourage anyone that hasn't had a chance to please take the time to get the book, to maybe share it with a friend or somebody that you think could benefit from it, and uh, just to really start to implement and put some of the strategies that he shares in the book to practice. I believe we'll all be blessed. Uh, by this book. So thank you so much.